Hello comrades, this is my upgrade for my PlayStation 5, uh, a solid state drive, crucial P P5 plus, which has a sequential read speed of 6600 megabytes per second, which is more than officially required 5500 megabytes per second by Sony. Uh, I got it on Amazon, it's currently on sale, so it, I got a good deal on it. By the way, so removing the sticker here from the front panel because um, I'm about to use it with uh, thermal sticks and a radiator. Uh, I'm gonna install it uh, in a minute. I was actually reluctant to remove it. I don't know if it should be removed or not. Um, it looks like it's not just a vapor. It looks like it, this thing is actually dissipates heat as well. But I have a heat sink. And I think uh, this will be much uh, more efficient uh, if I will use it. So as a heatsink, I'm using also an expensive but very popular uh, model here. Uh, all the links are in the description. I got it from Amazon as well, together with this um, chip. Right. Um, so let's just open it up and see what's inside. It comes with three double-sided thermal stickers, some screws, instructions, the device itself, and a screwdriver. That's all you need to make it, to install it. The heatsink itself looks good, um, good enough build quality. I see no problems with this. Uh, I, I hope it serves its purpose, but it looks like it's most popular uh, an option on Amazon if you buy it together with this particular model of solid state drive. It looks like it is compatible with it, so that's why I ordered it. That. Let's quickly check instructions how to install it. No surprises over here, one on top, one on bottom, slab it in, screw it in put into the device I guess I had a little difficulties to <laughs> and I remove that plastic part from there but you can do it it's not that hard the only problem is maybe when you put it in uh, from uh, uh, when you glue it on the one side it's really not that easy to remove it from the other side so be careful with that do it slowly this one actually is not that bad but the next one which I will put on top I had a little difficulty actually to remove uh, the top, the top one. Okay, we just orient this uh, so in order to align on and these places for the screws on top there, right? That's obvious. It's not that hard to to understand how it goes. So all these chips go on top, and then yes, this one was a little bit more tricky. So th this part was easy. I put it in, but it was not that easy to remove the plastic film from the top. I had some, I even, yeah, one, it's a attempt number two actually. The first attempt wasn't really great. So do it slowly and little by little it will, it will work. It's good that this particular model head thing comes with three stickers rather than just two. So it has that one extra. Uh, space for an error Yeah, so uh, when you align it and everything you just put the radiator itself on top and uh, Use this uh, supplied screws in order to secure it in the housing And here you go, this is how fully assembled model looks like. And we did really save some money because we didn't buy with head sync pre-installed and did assemble all parts ourselves.
it's time to install a memory into PlayStation itself. So first of all, quickly uh, remove the, the stand screen here. Put your PS5 on its side uh, and uh, remove the the side should be bottom side, right, where the disc is. And yeah, remove the panel, starting from the bottom, lift it carefully. I look, you, you perhaps already know where you need to go here, right? Unscrew this thing, uh, unscrew the thing and remove the cover. It's all ready for you to intervene. It's very user friendly, to be honest with you. Very big screw, it's really hard to lose. Then you just open it up and you see there is like a, a, a that little screw you have to unscrew it this is for you just to secure it uh, your memory chip in one of these positions depending on its size so you see 30 42 this is sizes right so we we just remove it from there with a little cover it's a kind of a stunt so let's put in the memory chip itself be careful because it's not that obvious how it goes in just try to wiggle it up and down and then eventually it will just be inserted so you see there is a uh, kind of some free space up there so that's why you j just need this little uh, piece here so it will be under uh, the chip so it will hold it there in place then just uh, put the screw back in and that's pretty much all the installations uh, it's very very simple and user friendly although not that user friendly as an Xbox memory expansion uh, owners of Xbox will know what I'm talking about you just slide some cartridge in and you have your memory uh, yeah there is a lot of dust up here look at this uh, so P PS5 gathers a lot of dust inside so of course if you have chance uh, just remove it I remove it from time to time but it still kind of have some so it's time now to put the cover back and the stand and start testing if uh, our solid state drive is really working and up to the specifications of the Sony so I just to let you know when when I just put my solid state drive in I expect that it will be testing uh, the chip for compatibility and I don't know if it can refuse it or not if it's not up to the spec uh, let's just put it uh, just turn it on and see how it goes okay here we go start Okay, we need to format it first. It's in real time, by the way. It formats it really, really fast. Right? And it says that the read speed is 5772, which is like less than it was advertised. Like, But what is advertised on P5 Plus is that it's maximum 6600 megabytes. Right? Let's see the storage size. It's one terabyte, of course, as we expected. That's real good. And we have now an option really to change the installation location into that new drive. Uh, right, but the only word of warning, you can only store games. You cannot store saved data on, on that expanded storage. Maybe it's just for protection. Uh, maybe if your uh, expansion drive fails, you still have your saved data available. Okay, let's move a large game of 83 gigabytes into M2 storage and see how fast it goes. Doom Eternal. And it's in real time. So that's how 83 gigabytes are moving. Uh, yep, yeah, it's fast enough. Uh, I would say that the bright speed advertised on P5 plus crucial is around 5000 megabytes per second i don't know how it aligns in real life is it uh, really that fast but yeah we are getting there and after it finishes uh, I, I, i'm just leaving it to run 
in real time so you can measure yourself but after it finishes uh, uh, let's just load the game and see how fast it loads Okay, it's finished. Let's load the game and here you go. Very fast. Subjectively even faster than internal storage, but maybe I'm wrong. But what you get is real good. It's fast enough and it's uh, compliant with all the PS5 standards and it's not breaking our bank. So I would recommend this configuration for you guys. So see you again. Talk to you later. Bye comrades.